WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished down 113, Nasdaq off 125, S&P's off 20, gold contract up $15.10, trading at 2,003 an ounce. Get silver up 48 cents at $26.30 an ounce. Late sweet crude down 237, 106 dollars a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year down 13 ticks, 126.04. The 30-year off 17 ticks at 155.05. And king dollar, king dollar up 605 ticks, trading 98.572. Euro 109, yen 116, the British pound 130 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&P, folks. Bottom line, it's not a bad looking S&P. My take is that we're still not going to catch a bid. Uh, the S&P got down to 420 today, did reject that. We're at 425. That still puts us down a couple bucks. We look at the NDX 100, and that's, by the way, coming into a Friday. So it really depends on yeah, you get, you know, the weekly option expirations on the Friday. Bottom line, you know. When you're talking about buying and selling, the fact is you want to buy on a Friday and hold over the weekend for two more days. If you're going to buy on a Friday in a market like this, my take is that you'd wait till Monday because then you have Monday to Friday going all the way out to see, okay, was I right in the assessment that this thing is on a bottom and wants to go higher or am I wrong? When you do it on a Friday, whole different ballgame. NDX 100 down 375. You get about the same volume. Yeah, you had an expansion of volume yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday we went higher with 63 million shares, 64 million shares in the queues. Today lower with 66 million. Gold, gold rejected lower price today at 19.75. You get a confirmed ABC structure on the way up with the 26 to 27 dollar handle and good old King Dollar. King Dollar looks to me like it doesn't want to make a run for that that high. That high being that 102 uh, 95 area, and I expect what that's all about is that. You know, you see the aspect that, uh, you know, when you're talking currencies, uh, gold is still the strongest currency in the world, man. That's the bottom line. Um, and, you know, people, well, you can, you, can, you can see how strong it is when Venezuela and, you know, Maduro, who's a, you know, dog, uh, he dollar-sized uh, his economy last year. And guess what? People are coming back. And um, that economy, uh, well, Caracas in general is starting to boom. And what that's about is a stable currency so people know what they have. That's why you get a crush inflation, folks. Have a great night and have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m.